Holy and loving God, we thank you for the opportunity we have to be here to celebrate the work that you've done in the lives of Aaron and Brooke. God, we pray that uh, not just this day today of this marriage ceremony, Lord, but their entire marriage would be a blessing uh, to one another, uh, to their families, to their friends, and to this world that you've created. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Aaron and Brooke in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. Aaron and Brooke come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Who gives this woman to this man? Her mother and I. I, Aaron. Take you, Brooke. Take you, Brooke. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Brooke. I, Brooke. Take you, Aaron. Take you, Aaron. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and poor. For richer and poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. I've had the opportunity to uh, meet with Aaron and Brooke and hear a little bit about their story and about their, their love uh, their love story as well. And I wanted to share a couple of things with them here on this day. The first is that um, for you all to get to this moment, it's a, kind of a, a minor miracle. Um, in so much as that one, it's a minor miracle when any two people get together. But also you all have a lot of things that separated you at the very beginning, right? Jinx and Union, OSU obviously, and OU. Um, and yet you have overcome those obstacles and been able to, to share love together. So I feel confident anything else is, uh, is kind of gravy after that, all right? I also have uh, been able to hear about uh, what you all do and, uh, and your love of CrossFit and that, how that has brought you all together. And as I was thinking about um, what to say today, I actually went to the website that you all had. And I looked at some of the, the words that you have to your CrossFitters. And in some ways, I think they're very fitting for today's occasion. In order to be successful, your commitment and dedication, plain and simple, if your head and your heart are not in it, nothing will work. And I think that doesn't just go for working out, that goes for you all working together. Do not overtrain. Overstress on your body by too much exercise will have a very negative effect. Listen to your body. Now here's what I think that means for you all, is that sometimes in, in marriage, we can find ourselves wanting to solve every problem all the time. But sometimes it's best just to say, you know what, I trust that he loves me. I trust that she loves me. And we can go to bed tonight. We may not have solved the world's problem. We may not have solved ours, but we can trust that we can go to bed and we don't have to overtrain. Log and track your workouts. You will have better success. I think this is key, is log and track how you love one another. What are you doing on a daily basis, a monthly basis, a yearly basis to show and give your love to one another? Next one I think is so important as well, it says participate in the community. Um, I know there's uh, many people that are involved with CrossFit here and I think that community, but a network of family and friends, these people. No marriage is made to to go through alone. Um, and so as you all bear one another's burdens, also you need to depend on this community that's here and the people that God has surrounded your life with for success. Start out slow, check your ego at the door and be accountable for your body and your health. So start out slow. Uh, you're going to learn one another. You're going to share life together. You all are not going to have everything down in the first year of marriage. So start out slow and continue to do what you're supposed to do. Listen to your coaches. Listen to your God. 
Be shaped by what he wants you all to do in your life. Be shaped by the mentors and the people you look up for and trust and listen to the advice that they give you. That's a little bit about what Paul said. So whatever is pure, whatever is true, whatever is noble, think about these things. And so think about those things in your marriage. And of course, it's not just enough to think about them, but to put them into practice makes all the difference. Sometimes it's not gonna be easy. And sometimes you all, we're not one, we've already had this conversation before, but it's worth having that conversation before and it's worth growing and growing. The last one says this, don't cheat. I think that in some ways speaks for itself, but I think don't just cheat on one another, but don't cheat any aspect of your marriage. Give yourselves fully to one another because when God takes you two wonderful people and brings them together as one, it's a holy and beautiful thing. Brooke, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And vow. And vow. And vow. That with all that I am. With that all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And always will. And always will. I do so. I do so. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Aaron, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And vow. And vow. That with all that I am, that with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. And always will. And always will. I do so. I do so. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Sent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Aaron and Brooke have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, the giving and receiving of rings, I am proud to pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. It is uh, my joy and honor to present to you for the very first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Chuck. Thank everyone for being here and supporting Brooke and Aaron. Um, it's amazing to see all the people that love them and want them to succeed. So thank you all for being here. Um, to Brooke, you're my only sister, my best sister by default, but <laughs> you know that I love you. Um, you're the strongest person that I know, and I've always looked up to you, always admired you. And I'm so glad that you found Aaron. You are truly happy with him. Honestly, the happiest I've ever seen you. And um, to Aaron, I'm so excited to have a big brother now. You are a great man, and I know that you're going to take care of her. And I love watching you two together. I know that you guys are going to make each other so happy, and you'll continue to encourage each other and push each other. And I know you guys are going to do great things. So it's Brooke and Aaron. I love you guys. I have to start off with this. A lot of people never thought this was going to happen. Um, not because Brooke and Aaron didn't love each other. They actually thought Aaron and I were going to get married before Brooke and Aaron would get married. So I don't know if a lot of people know that I'm a business partner with Aaron. Uh, we actually were fraternity brothers in college. So Aaron is one of the most focused. Um, he's one of the most business savvy guys I know. And it was, it's been such a pleasure to be part of the business with him and I respect the heck out of him because he just does the right thing and he works his butt off. So, you know, I love him for that. We spend probably more hours together than a lot of married couples do with Brooke and Grace as well. So 
you know, they've become really close friends. Friday nights, Saturday nights, we're out together. Um, it's just they're part of our family. They're our brothers and our sisters, and we love them to death. Two years ago, we had Brooke come in the gym. Slowly but surely, you know, they got closer and closer. I tell you what, Brooke uh, is an awesome, awesome individual. She's very, very hardworking. She's going to graduate school at OSU. We really look forward to spending our lives and getting old with them as friends. So raise our glasses and a toast to Aaron and Brooke. done on the outside and with words be confirmed in only the way you can in the hearts and lives of Aaron and Brooke. Thank you for bringing them together on this sacred day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.